Okay. Well, I feel like a bit of a jerk because one of the things I did not expect when it comes to possibly going ahead and adding a young Irwin there into our ranch and having him kind of be our, you know, well, personal assistant to help take care of all of the animals on the ranch and to go ahead and finally have somebody who can help us train Hercules since we need somebody to ride this horse to go ahead and, you know, build his endurance skills and get him ready for all of the championship things he's supposed to be going on so we can finally have some foals. And uh, uh, in, in doing all that and, you know, also having Erwin go ahead and come on in, maybe pop into a tree house that we are going to be having for him in just a second. I kind of forgot the fact that maybe he's a cool guy. Like, maybe he is just a young kid who no one in Strangerville has ever really supported. He doesn't have any family. He works at a roadside attraction where he gathers a whole bunch of knickknacks that he tries to sell to make ends meet. And he just has dreams of aliens and space and adventures in the great beyond, beyond what he can see in front of him. And boy, did I ever feel bad when, you know, we actually just did manage to go ahead and invite him in. And the first thing he did was go around and just hug all the animals. I didn't anticipate that he might actually be happy on the ranch. And also, watching him and Rocky talk, it hit me. A very, very rare thing hit me when it comes to our Sims. And that is, um, he's actually a friend. Like a real friend. He's actually one of the only real friends that Rocky and now Ashlyn have. He's also, he, he's got his quirks. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but he's also, he's also their friend. And now I feel bad for keeping secrets from him and basically like sending him to live in a tree so that he can go ahead and become our rocket building slave and clean up all of the poop and help Ashlyn with the garden that she has, well, on again, off again interest in. I feel a bit bad for that, but we're going to make it up to him. We're going to make it up to Irwin here by helping him to have an absolutely gloriously happy life. You're kidding me. Okay. You know, the odds of meteors hitting someone are supposed to be really low. We need to run for cover. Erwin doesn't know how to get into the cave because it's locked against him. Rocky, you were supposed to go ahead and make a pizza to share with him to celebrate. Um, you know, this might work because this might work because I'm going to say Ashlyn's meteor alarms just went off because she's trying to keep an eye on the situation. Like this is just getting weird having all of these meteors hit all the time. And unfortunately she is a little suspicious. It might have something to do with a certain... Uh, like, really? Him again? One of the aliens that she knows. So we're going to go ahead and say, you know, the alarms just went off. And um, we're going to go ahead and let the door become unlocked. So let's unlock this. And we're going to get him down here. Because I think that they're just going to start screaming for him. Here, we'll go here together. They're just going to start screaming for him. And in all of that process, we might go ahead and have Ashlyn like reveal she's an alien because this is this is their inner sanctum. This is their home where they hang out inside, right? And they're supposed to go ahead and and have it be private. And I was not going to let Erwin in. I legitimately was not. We were going to keep it locked. We were going to actually build him his own guest cave where he could go ahead and shower instead. Um, um, um. But I just made a speech and I just had like an actual real moment sitting and preparing the stories for these guys about him being a real friend. And what happens? We're about to get him killed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the disguise because I like the idea that Ashlyn normally is in her alien self in the cave. And Erwin's going to discover we're an alien, but that's okay because, you know, it's that or get hit by a meteor that's about to come from above. So, um, that's okay. We'll let this happen. 
Also, an alien in a nightgown does seem a little bit odd, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh, and also, Rocky, have you gone ahead and can you please, like, get some of this food out? Like, collect, serve the pizza, please. Now at least we can just bring Erwin down here for the pizza. Legitimately was not going to have Erwin find out she was an alien for a very long time. But, again, got to save a guy's life. Get in there, Erwin! <laughs> I can't believe there oh well i guess technically ashlyn's in the other room do i want to go ahead and just like let him know though just to get it out just so that he can go ahead and we can just rip the band-aid off and then he can help with the alien babies and maybe we can have him get serious about the rocket science career earlier than i thought yes yes probably probably we do um but right now i can't believe i need to come up with another like meteor threat at least he's not dead <sighs> one moment Right, so now we have another meteor that has just crashed, landed right up against the cliff wall that we happen to live under. Totally, totally fine, totally fine. Um, it also seems to have, since I somehow have managed to lose my ground terrain that looks like lava, a, a very big tragedy that actually, I, don't think I need to figure out, like, how did I lose lava ground terrain? But we'll go ahead and find that mod again. Um, <clears throat> it also seems to have landed, and the surreal properties of the meteor means that it did not actually end up causing a big fire. It just made a crater, and it did end up having a bunch of weird grass sprout around it that Ashlyn kind of went, ooh, yeah, maybe don't touch that and don't let the animals eat it. It, like yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> without explaining further and I gave it some thought while the uh, meteor went ahead and landed on our heads and we're gonna go and we're gonna we're gonna let it happen because I think all of it happened so fast the screaming the yelling the desperation to keep Irwin from getting hit by a meteor that uh, we're just we're just gonna do it we're just gonna have him have stumbled upon Ashlyn while she was trying to take a nap <laughs> And end up um, discovering that, you know, she's an alien because, hello, she's literally right here. This is not the path I was going to take either. But at least it cuts out some of the drama and we can just go ahead, maybe have them all become best friends. She can give that friendship bracelet she's been working on. Oh my gosh. And I feel like we should, ha how about a knock-knock joke to try to ease up on the whole, like, Oh, that knocking upon our chamber door. Just a meteor. Yeah, we kind of have a meteor issue going on here. And you know what? Since we just put Erwin's life literally at risk, I feel that it's appropriate to go ahead and have the whole group kind of get along and, and kind of get to understand one another a bit better. Also, I'm going to end the gathering so that they'll stop wandering off and gardening on me. And, sir, that's not where you're supposed to put the pizza. I appreciate the gumption, Rocky, but um, also this, uh, oh my gosh, this kitchen. All right, well, you guys need to go ahead and do what you need to do, but why don't you, um, he's so hungry. I feel like they need to all talk together, though, about this, because this is kind of like a big deal. Uh, how about deep thoughts? Maybe propose crazy scheme, because, so you won't believe it, but it turns out, aliens! Ginger! Yeah, I mean, you already knew aliens, actually. He, he would be somebody who already would get the alien thing. Um, I think that there's like a very long pause as he just stares at her and, and is kind of processing this. Kind of processing, oh, look at his imagination just go wild. Oh, And she's feeling confident, so I think we're going to say Ashlyn feels that she's doing the right thing. Um, and we're also going to have her yeah, tell that knock-knock joke about the meteor hitting. And then, how about, ask about local history, but as a way to be like, so, you won't believe what goes on here. Also, Rocky, now that they're talking and she can explain her alienness, finds her. You can go over here, and once again, I had to spend all of our simoleons making another meteor landing site. Uh, sir, here, you, you, shoo, 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 shoo. You have lost your bladder so many times now. Go for it. Ashlyn will handle this. <laughs> Alright, and Ashlyn, you're gonna go ahead, interest, maybe share, oh yeah, share that knowledge, share that astronomy knowledge, that would be so cool, that'd be so cool, because that, that, that actually would work out well with the whole theme. Hey Erwin, he's kind of taking it all in, 
And then I might have him actually end up with a special moodlet for a while. Because this is this is kind of a big deal. Small talk. Discuss weird atmospheric pressure. That would indeed be something alien ask Erwin. Where are you going, buddy? Stark oh my gosh, they're gonna just stargaze together? <gasps> what a perfect way to go ahead and make that happen. Good idea, you two. She can go ahead and she can point out, like, yeah, this is where I'm from. Um, meanwhile, Rocky, can you please... I, the pizza. The pizza, Rocky. Upstairs. The pizza. You made it to celebrate Erwin moving in at first as our grunt slave, and now we realized, oh, wait, oh, fudge. He's actually, like, a real friend. Oh, I feel a little bad for just wanting to, you know, go ahead and have him do all of our grunt work now. Like, clean up all the piles of manure that are everywhere. Now we actually like him. But how cool! Stargazing together! And now he's happy. I definitely think he needs a special moodlet really quickly. Because this is a big deal. Um, let's see. Here we go. Alright. My friend. Aliens are real. You're also friends with an alien. This has all turned out to be a lot more interesting than I think he ever expected. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And so we're going to go ahead... And we're going to give him hmm, a shock, surprise. Is there a surprise? Or maybe, uh, ooh, there is a surprise. Let's see, spoilers, skill gained, surpassed expectations. Uh, their blown is, <laughs> okay, this is about movies, but this is perfect. Um, so-and-so's mind is blown right now. The twist and turns came out of nowhere. And when the lead betrayed their mother like that, oh, well, we'll say that that's probably close enough. So we'll do surpassed expectations. Oh, that barely did. I think that just made like a happy moodlet. Um, so if that made a happy moodlet, should we have, would he be dazed? I don't think he'd be tense or scared. I actually think he'd be... Maybe inspired or energized, maybe confident because people actually could believe in him. Um, I think that he would be playful. How would I feel if I discovered aliens? I think I'd feel energized. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make him exhilarated. And we're just going to leave that there for a little while because, come on, he just discovered aliens are real. <laughs> that would make him fired up. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be fun. This is not the path I thought things were going to take, but this is going to be fun. Now, instead of trying to pretend like, oh, you know, we're not going to talk about aliens. Um, we're going to just kind of give him little tiny snippets to, to pay him for all the work he does here. Now we can just straight up say like, hey, yeah, I'm an alien. And it turns out I can tell you because they happen to be really good friends. They do. And he's a real friend, not a servant. Also, Geppetto apparently hates him. Well, that's on brand for Geppetto. Uh, but, so Erwin! I have never, ever, ever had him in a Sim family before. And that's another reason I felt a little bit humbled. Because when he came in, it turns out all he wants to really do is get a promotion at a job that had no capabilities of being promoted at. Because he worked at his little stand! And we have brought his stand here! Because he would, of course, need to pack up all of the evidence of the conspiracy theories that he has been collecting for many, many, many years now, so that the Sims in Black do not take his work. Uh, and we also managed to, like, haul over a treehouse that refuses to stay treehousey, deserty colors. Excuse me, please. How many times must we have this discussion, little treehouse? Uh, well, you know, I guess I could... There, we're gonna go with flowery. I wish... You know what? I wish somebody made a treehouse that was a cactus. Actually, I take... Like, actually, that sounds like a horrible idea. But <laughs> the spirit was there briefly. <laughs> but we have a little treehouse. And this is actually going to be the plan for where Irwin is supposed to go and sleep and rest. Because I've never had a treehouse before. And I thought that would be kind of fun to have him sort of live in the treehouse on our property. And he, as far as his, like, personal interest and lifestyle go, um, let's see, is he hungry? He's actually doing really good. He's feeling super, like, energetic. I guess we can just let him walk around for a minute. He also wants to talk to himself. You know, this is a lot to, this is a lot to figure out. So I think we'll let him, 
just talk to himself for a minute hey. because this is kind of exciting. Uh, he likes fitness. You know, I'm going to say okay because I think he's just feeling super energized and excited and wants to do something with that energy. And now he's talking to himself. That's fine. Ooh, and I bet he would probably love to go ahead and stargaze for just a minute. Please don't get hit by something, though. Uh, but, hey, Hercules, don't worry. You're going to have a new trainer in just a minute here. But, uh, so when it comes to, like, his aspirations and his desires, he counts as a renaissance sim. And he is also erratic, so his emotions tend to be a bit of a roller coaster. Fitting that we went ahead and made him super energized and excitable. Um, and he didn't have a job because he was an NPC who worked at his little curio stand. And I like to think that of all of the things that he would like to do, and all of the careers he would like to join, it might have something to do with space. We... we might end up with Erwin, the heroic space ranger, one day. When I realized we could, we could guide him to such heights, I couldn't just turn my back on him and make him just a grunt sidekick in the backs. Like, I, I had to actually put a little effort into it. Also, he um, doesn't really have a lot of skills. He hasn't really had a chance to do much else with his life. He has gained a lot of gardening skill from helping us out here on the ranch. He's actually gained a little bit of horse riding from, again, helping us out on the ranch. And um, he has gained some a lot of logic. Like, he came with logic, and he came with a shocking amount of comedy. And I think that's actually from picking up jokes from Rocky. Because one of the Ranch to Riches, like, club things is usually to be funny with each other and tell jokes. And I think that's where he got it from. And he also has already shot all the way up to almost level 4 on rocket science. Just from pounding away at the rocket pieces that we've kind of tried to just, you know, mold together inside of the cave. And I'm, I was just super impressed with that. Like, that was amazing. Uh, and he has no friends other than us. Literally. He has Agatha Crumplebottom, who has been catfishing him online, which I think is mean. He has, for some reason, a cap and scarf and cool blues. Oh, because she knitted it for him, a hat for a chicken. And then he's got a picture, now that he knows, is of Ashlyn. And otherwise, he's erratic. He's paranoid, uh, which means that he always is wondering if there's danger around every corner. And he definitely feels safer in basements, now that he almost got hit by a meteor. He is a geek, which means that he loves reading sci-fi, playing video games. He becomes tense if he hasn't played much, and he's better at finding collectibles and can discuss geek things with other geek sims and a quick learner, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, hey, and Ashlyn can now grow, uh, can now overgrow pruned bonsai trees. Ah, oh, to reshape them. That's right. And she is also able to super sell plants in a large area. That could be helpful. If I didn't feel like that sort of took away from the fun of trying to sell him yourself, but uh, yeah, otherwise he has literally nothing. No one really knows about him. Maybe that's because he has eradicated every trace of his existence from the online universe since, you know, conspiracy theories. He has no true lifestyle, really. Um, he's starting to gain a few. He doesn't like violin. He likes green. He dislikes nature enthusiast for some reason. He likes polished fashion. He likes classical music. He dislikes cats. That's why he and Geppetto probably don't get along. And um, that's all he really had. That's all he really had until now. And now, vindication! Uh, Aliens, real, life, amazing. Uh, and I'm hoping we can make this really fun and special for him. Perform odd job. Oh, I'm going to say he's going to make some odd jobs like here. Oh, stop. Yes, yes, yes. Stop flashing at me. Uh, wait, what was that? Community service festival. Why is there? Why? What's what? What's with the? What's with the weird weather? New moon? Why is the weather going to be weird? I don't like that question mark. Is that going to be more meteors? <sighs> but there we have it. Our new friend has now moved in. I feel quite a bit better about life in some regards because I felt bad for using him as a grunt slave. And I think that he's just very excited to uh, hang out and, and we'll let him talk to himself. He's also super energized. So let's see. Should I have him go on an energized jog? Maybe because he's just like, you won't believe it. 
Like just, this is amazing, aliens. And he probably has all sorts of questions for Ashlyn. Ashlyn, what are we gonna have you do, my dear? I, I wonder if she's like, oh, well, you know, now I don't have to wear that like super uncomfortable outfit. Like, well, I'm at my own house, which is nice. <gasps> Ooh, our crystal tree. Ashlyn, why don't you come over here? And oh, where's our super fertilizer? We have a thing of super fertilizer she could use on that. Aha, there we go. There we are. Oh, and she can give him a friendship bracelet. I'll have her knit another friendship bracelet too. Let's use our super fertilizer on this and I'll even turn on headlines for just a moment. Crystal tree, normal. <gasps> it's a tree that grows crystals. Oh man, I wonder, is there gonna be like a special fruit? Or actual crystals because i will accept both with extreme joy all right did the quality go up oh it did oh and erwin acquired the fitness skill erwin's new skill in fitness will allow him to perform various workouts on the workout equipment yeah hey i love how that's probably because he's just super excited about life right now um and we'll go ahead and maybe research our crystal tree just because i think ashlyn's kind of like oh it's really cool all right and if you're feeling that energetic, sir, maybe, just maybe, I think, what would you want to do with that energy? And also my pizza! Sub it. Okay, fine. I'm putting this pizza back in the fridge. I had Rocky make another garden pizza. I, the Sims just, they do not eat the pizza fast enough. I feel like I need to have like a little, will it stay good in a cooler? Like, can I stick a cooler outside and like just shove the pizza in there when they're not eating it? I'll have to find out. Um, but Erwin, you're, you're as wonderful as this has been. This has kind of been your moment to shine. Almost shine by turning into fiery, like getting hit by meteor things. Uh, tell a story to self. We'll have him do that too. But I think he's trying to, I think he would want to go and build the rocket ship most of all. And I think Rocky can actually handle going into the cave right now because finally, finally all of them actually happen to have semi-decent, like, moods. And Erwin's excited and telling himself a story. And once we get the rocket ship going, we might put him in the rocket ship career. That could be kind of fun. Just to make it so that we can go ahead and have, uh, let's travel to Forgotten Grotto. Have him kind of off the lot quite often. So if he's not helping us, we can say in his rocket ship career that he's uh, off in space, you know, studying, trying to figure out what's out there. Because that's probably the thing that he's going to care about the most. Trying to figure out the mysteries of the universe. I can really get behind that. And in trade for room, board, and rocket ship, uh, he's gonna help us out on the ranch. Like, actually help us. Like, actually ranch things. Alright. Rocky! Hey, buddy. Alright, everybody's here. Excellent. Uh, also, headphones off, cut out loud. And then we'll have these two come over and continue building. Because Rocky does really like the rocket ship. He also wants to- oh, he wants to discuss logic puzzles! I'll let him do that really quickly because we kind of need every aspiration point we can get from you, sir, so that we can go ahead and get you the steel bladder. Um, and also, you know, this is this is Rocky's like, this is Rocky's world, so we should be doing more with him. And meanwhile, I'm gonna have Ashlyn come over and I'm gonna have her knit. Uh, let's see, clothing. Was it clothing? Knit, knit clothing, knit sweaters knit how do i have her work on knit clothing how do i have her work on or do i just need to have her sit and then then just try out knitting because i oh there it is you have to actually click on the, the um basket of yarn itself to make the friendship bracelet Oh, those two are exchanging gossip in the corner. I saw that, you guys. All right. Oh, and she's super energized. Constellation formations. Oh, from looking at the stars. And also from the buzz of nature. Huh. I wonder if she gets really, like, relaxed because of the contrast. Let's do pastel orange, blue, and white for Rocky. And, of course, as we mentioned, we'll also tuck some secret tracking devices into the bracelets. 
Uh, and meanwhile, you two are excited, exhilarated. I think, cool. are you discussing that logic puzzle? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I, I like the idea how Rocky's uh, trying really hard to kind of keep up with this. Oh, and now he wants to play with his football. Well, you know, maybe I'll let him... Well, he also... Whoa, Ashlyn! Oh, that's what it looks like when they make a friendship bracelet. <laughs> Is this like an alien friendship bracelet? <laughs> Just surprised the heck out of me. Um, also, Rocky wants to harvest a plant, so I'm going to have him do that. And my, my, my people, come over and continue building this rocket ship then. Ashlyn, it looks like you're making some sort of like otherworldly alien knickknack, which also sounds like something. Which also sounds like something that Erwin might actually like to go ahead. Hang on, Erwin. Ashlyn's gonna grab you. And let's see. Can I? Friendly. Why is it so much work to knit? No. Uh, maybe enthuse about fabrication just so that we can have him go ahead and say that she's like, hey, and also welcome to household. Because, you know, exciting that he's here. And then, you know, Rocky and Ashley are best friends, right? I want to make sure first. Like, I don't want, I don't want to make Erwin her best friend if they're not boyfriend, best friend. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that Rocky was best friend too. Rocky, where are you going? Oh, uh, she didn't learn any inspiration from chatting to Erwin about fabrication. Maybe that's because she knows most of, like, the stuff. Do I need to do this? Exchange friendship bracelets. Oh, he doesn't have any to trade. Oh, come on. All right, fine. Ashlyn's going to work on making her own friendship bracelets, too. And I think that Erwin's going to leap up and be like, yeah, totally. Super happy about that. I'll take care of, like, you know, following these schematics you got me. All right, all right, all right. Make a friendship bracelet, and then we'll make one that he can give to her. How about white and gray? There we go. I think she'd think that was nice. Rocky, where are you and why? You came over to the fishing area. Aha! Uh -huh. Good instincts, my little Rocky Rock Hound. To the crystal pile. Excellent. We have been waiting to go ahead and acquire another crystal. You had to go ahead and lose the little motive for it, though. Uh... Huh. Hey, we got Amber, though. Neat! Let's see. So that is, Sims will not fail at a range of interactions, not start fire. Whoa, wait, that's the really rare amber where the weather will always be sunny. <gasps> Maybe we could say it's sunny with no chance of meteors. That would be awesome. Okay. And then, ooh, is there a dig pile over here? Rocky! Like almost at the end of your pregnancy, totally the thing you should be doing right now. Digging and searching for crystals, of course. But hey, we could maybe, well, I like the amber. So I don't want to like turn it into another one of, I, again, Rocky? We literally just, I feel like somebody with a puppy or something where you're like, really, you have to go outside again right now? We, we But we just, we just were outside. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm gonna have him come and at least check on this. Hopefully he'll be okay. And Ashlyn. We'll have you make one more friendship bracelet, maybe with the repeating pink hearts that you can get from Rocky. Kind of hilarious that she's going to be handing them the friendship bracelets to give back to her. But you know, they're building her, her rocket ship back up. Can't complain about that. And Rocky, I do want to save the amber, but oh, that's right. Craft jewelry, a gift jewelry or successfully propose with a crafted ring. Oh my gosh. What if? I think it'd be really hard to go to 6M. But what if we manage to get that special crystal that's good for aliens, the Nidalite or whatever it is, and we can make a ring out of it. And Rocky... Dude. You know, I try to help you, sir. I try to help you. Yes. Yes, you would be miserable now. Can we, okay, prehistoric rock from the fossil and what about the time capsule? 
a Chef Gino. Okay, neither of those are crystals <laughs> that we really wanted. Get over here. Oh, he can't. Oh, fine. This platter, I swear. Get, fine. Whatever. Oh, whatever. All right. And you, ma'am, you go ahead and you maybe go knit some. Do we have enough wool to knit anything with our fresh ingredients? Not here, unfortunately. See, the challenge kind of is making sure that we can try to have the wool. There we go. We can make another orange tiger beanie. The wool from our sheep in order for Ashlyn to use it. But we don't have enough wool. So maybe maybe this guy can help with that because we can get more sheep. That would be really useful, actually. But all right. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of watching like Erwin very excitedly go ahead and chip away at this rocket ship. Uh, and then watching Ashlyn kind of knit a bunch of orange beanies from Mesabaz fur. And then watching Rocky basically go back and forth. And you know, at least we get a little bit of aspiration points from popping on in and being miserable. And the, the imagine that. Imagine having to go to the bathroom so bad that when you're actually able to, you feel like you gained lifetime aspiration on par with doing something like, say, going to another alien planet. Dang. Oh. <sighs> But all right, guys, I'll keep an eye on them and we'll see what happens first. Oh my gosh, <gasps> he can't go ahead and kick his soccer ball from, no, because he's too pregnant. Oh, it's like he's got a soccer ball under his shirt. Rocky, oh boy. All right, all right. And now he has to harvest an excellent product or nothing else. You're making this really hard on me, sir. So you know what you're going to be banished to doing? reading a skill book. You have to do homework until we're done here. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.